We're back with another quick tutorial today. I got asked a question which was, can you do astrophotography without a tripod? Short answer is yes. Long answer is, I'm gonna show you how. The person that asked it, they're heading off to the Himalayas and they're wanting to make the most of being up high and take pictures of the stars while they're up there. So they're gonna have hiking equipment with them. So that's what we're starting with. And I think that's pretty relatable for everyone that might be doing this you go outside and you want to make the most of it. So hopefully this fits a lot of people. Now I'm using my camera bag as the base, which has a like back support. So it's quite firm, but hopefully you can use these techniques to get your photos. Now we're not covering settings in today's video. I've already done a video on that. This is just getting set up and then getting the shot. But we'll head over to the bag now and show you what I've been doing. We'll start with the most basic of all the setups and that is just the bag. I often use this for when I'm out vlogging. I'll chuck the, the vlogging camera on here and I tend to just use the, the bag straps to level it out a bit. Now, I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like when you're out in Himalayas. Like you might be up on top of the mountains and then you're looking over the tops of the mountains with the stars pretty much in front of you. So maybe this will work, but more often than not, you're going to need to point the camera upwards. So we're going to need some way of shimming this up. In my bag, I often have stuff like a hat or you might have some big gloves while you're out there. Now you can just stack them up and then your camera is now pointing upwards. The downside about doing this kind of thing is these are soft materials. So when you're taking the picture, you're gonna want to put this onto a, a timer because when you're pressing it down, it's gonna get a bit of movement from the fabric. So just put the camera onto a 10 second timer and by the time it's all leveled out, you'll be fine. And no one will know that this is a setup that you used. So. The options we've got from my setup is the camera bag, gloves, maybe gloves and the hat, maybe a sunglasses case, or maybe a coat that you've rolled up and they all basically do the same job. And all I'm trying to say is that there's different options and I don't think it really matters. You are gonna to have to be careful that it's not as secure, like it could tip back. So stay with your camera and that's all you need to do. What I've done is I stacked together them gloves and the hat and I got a picture over in that direction. The thing with doing the nighttime photography is you don't want a light going into the back of the camera. So I'm gonna save you that time because it's just 30 seconds of darkness, but it's not the fanciest of pictures. It's just to prove the point and you can see all the stars up there. When I just used the two gloves, you could see some of the foreground and I didn't like it. So putting that extra layer in there just made the difference really. I'm also gonna put in some of my other astrophotography images just to show that I have done this before and I'm not just making this up for a video, but I think this is one of them times where the gear actually doesn't matter. I'm not a big fan of that quote cause it's pretty cheesy, but there's, what's that saying? There's many ways to skin a cat. You don't always need to have the fancy one. Sometimes the, the dirty way just works. And I do this a lot for my photography, like the DIY macro video that we did a while back. I had that DIY set up when I was getting into it. I didn't see the point in investing into all the macro things when I first started. That was like, two or three years down the line. So if you're only gonna be doing this once or twice a year, then this way is perfect. You don't have to spend any more money and you can just put that money that you would have spent into your holiday or into anything else. But hopefully you found this helpful and you can get some pictures out of this. But if you wanna see more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I've also got more guides over at adamkappa.co.uk. If you could share them around, that'll be appreciated. But hope you like the video and I'll see you next time.